Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden. Fascist title. The lost shadows of Stockholm in the heart of Sweden, the calm and peaceful city of Stockholm, was stirring with an unusual tension. A sudden surge in fascist propaganda had been seen around town, shocking a community that prided itself on equality and democracy. There was no understanding as to why this sudden interest in fascism had arisen or who was behind it. Detective Lars Svensson, a seasoned investigator with the Swedish police force, found himself assigned to uncover what lay behind this disturbing development. Fascism was not an ideology commonly associated with his homeland. Its emergence required careful investigation. His first clue came from a history professor at Stockholm University named Ingrid Johansson. She noticed some of her students taking an unusual interest in World War II-era Europe's fascist regimes during her lectures. They were asking probing questions and seemed more than ordinarily interested in understanding how such ideologies took hold. Lars began investigating these students discreetly while also delving into historical archives for possible connections between Sweden and any past fascist movements. He discovered that during World War II, while Sweden maintained neutrality officially, there were small pockets of Swedes who supported Nazi Germany secretly. Lars also found evidence that some influential figures from those groups had descendants still residing in Sweden, descendants who held high positions within society today. Simultaneously, Lars' investigations led him towards a mysterious group called Nordic Revival. This organization held private meetings under the guise of cultural preservation, but propagated extreme nationalist ideologies among its members, many being young university students drawn into their web through subtle manipulation masked as patriotism. One such student was Eric Carlson, one of Professor Johansson's pupils showing great curiosity about fascism, whose grandfather turned out to be one influential figure supporting Nazi Germany back during World War II. As Lars dug deeper into Eric's life, he discovered links between him and Nordic Revival. It became clear that Eric was being groomed by this organization to spread their extremist ideologies among other young people. Fascism was not just a historical concept in Sweden anymore. It was a living, breathing threat to the society Lars had sworn to protect. It wasn't just about Eric or Nordic Revival. It was about combating an ideology that threatened the democratic fabric of Swedish society. Lars knew he had his work cut out for him. He needed to expose Nordic Revival's true intentions and ensure their influence did not grow further. The resurgence of fascism in Sweden wasn't simply an academic curiosity. It was a dangerous reality that needed immediate action. The story ended with Lars pledging his commitment to this cause, promising.